I'm not going to pretend that I was the biggest fan of the first airplane film. Quite frankly, there were bits of it I liked, bits of it I really didn't. And I never would have watched the second airplane film, but I'm watching everything that George Went has ever been in. He has a small, really tiny, uncredited role in Airplane 2. So I thought I'd give it a go. And actually, it turns out that I liked it more than the first film. I still don't love it. I still don't think it's fantastic. I still don't understand the complete hype. You know, I think it's a decent watch. But I don't understand why people hail the airplane films as, like, fantastic. And I think the reason that is, for me, is that I don't like the narratives. I think the style of comedy is brilliant. Very, very clever. Very well written. But the narratives just bore me. I have no interest in the resolution of the narratives. The sequel was released in 1982. This one's directed by Ken Finkelman and also written by Finkelman. And as I said, the writing is incredible. It's so clever and so witty and just every second sentence is a quip, is satirical, is witty, is fabulous. And it is so clever. I wouldn't necessarily say it's laugh out loud funny. But certainly it made me smile and I just really enjoyed how very clever it was. And I think that's something that made this one even more interesting than the first one. You know, the first one was clever and was well written, even if I didn't particularly care for the narrative. But this one was just slightly better. So with this sequel, they're now actually on a space shuttle that's supposed to be heading to the moon. Uh, It's the lunar shuttle, but it goes off track and... Then, obviously, so many things go wrong. There's somebody on the plane with a bomb. Um, That's not a spoiler. We learn within the first five, ten minutes of the film. And the computer's down and just everything's chaotic, as one would expect. And we have some passengers who are really annoying and some passengers who have to put up with them. I don't think the passengers were as funny as they were in the first film. For example, um, I'm assuming you've seen the first film. So, for example, the young girl and the passenger with the oxygen mask, I thought they were pretty good. The passenger parts were not that engaging. And the narrative itself, I didn't really care. I didn't care how they were going to manage to find a way out of this or how they were going to resolve any of the issues. And because I like films with a good narrative that I can really become very absorbed in, I think that's maybe why I'm just not as taken with the airplane films as... Some people are, but I do, I definitely can see why they're very funny. And certainly that's something that I really appreciate. So did I like this film? Would I recommend this film? I mean, yeah, if you've seen the first one and liked it, absolutely watch the second film. There's some continuity things, so don't watch the second until you've seen the first. But I do think that, you know, I mean, it's got an absolutely brilliant cast. I mean, William Shatner and Lloyd Bridges and Peter Graves. You know, great mix of actors in here. And, of course, George Went, who's in, he's in, the, he's in, in the first 10 minutes for about 30 seconds at the most. But that's neither here nor there. Will I watch any more of these kind of films? Not if I can help it. But... As I said, I had a reason for watching this and I'm kind of glad that I did because it restored my faith a little bit in the airplane films. So I liked it more than the first, which is rare for a sequel. I can understand the appeal, but the narrative isn't enough for me. But the writing is pretty incredible.